Hi everyone. It's been some time that we've been to our favorite restaurants. And like the recent trend of do it yourself, what we can do is bring together certain ingredients and create a marvelous dish. Today I'm going to show you the recipe of salted caramel sauce, which is not something that we normally make at home, but everyone loves it. My entire family loves it. All you have to do is bring together four ingredients: sugar, water, butter, and cream. Let's start the recipe. In a heavy bottom saucepan or frying pan, spread 1 cup of granulated sugar and 1/3 cup of water in it. Turn on the heat and swirl the pan around. Cover and let the sugar melt on medium heat. Every once in a while, uncover and check. Swirl the pan once in a while. Cover again till the sugar melts and starts to bubble. My kitchen is my place of worship, and I cringe at the thought of cockroach or any other insect for that matter in my kitchen. I try to keep it as clean as possible at all times. Regular pest cleaning is one solution. But then, in times like this, when um, you know I cannot possibly allow people to uh, come into the kitchen, so it's been really difficult. But recently, I discovered this amazing do-it-yourself solution pest for pest control. and uh, let me just share this to you it anti roach gel it's really easy to use it's a do it yourself uh, pest control solution so all you have to do is open the cap and click this 7 to 8 times till the gel comes out so i've done this before um so you see there's a little bit of gel coming out and you have to put these put this like dots micro dots in uh, places where there are chances of cockroaches coming in so let's just just Do a little bit and show it. Apply dots in places where there are chances of cockroaches coming in, like the sides of drawers, door hinges of kitchen cabinets, below the sink, etc. Reapply after 45 days, and your kitchen will be rid of roaches. This is also an odorless gel. Now let me quickly wash my hands and get back to the recipe. By now, the sugar would have dissolved. Look how it is bubbling. Gently swirl the pan to distribute the heat evenly. From this point on, you'll have to keep an eye on the sugar. It will slowly change color. Please don't introduce any kind of spatula or brush in the pan. You can use a candy thermometer and caramelize till 160 to 170 degrees Celsius. Best is to look for a deep amber color and a light burnt smell. At that point, turn off the heat and add 1 cup of cream. I've used regular fresh cream. It will immediately start to bubble and rise and create a hissing sound. Keep stirring till the cream and the sugar completely incorporate thoroughly. Add 2 tablespoons of butter to this and melt the butter in the caramel. I use salted butter so I'm not adding any extra salt, but you can choose to add some sea salt if you like. It gives a nice flavor. And that's about all. Store the salted caramel in a jar. You can keep it in the refrigerator and warm it before having. Here's your salted caramel ready. Try this recipe at home and don't forget about the do it yourself home control solution for cockroaches. See the comment section below for a chance to win prizes.